I haven't quite decided. I think the goal is to try and have a kid first. If that doesn't happen, then I de then definitely will start right away um, with hormones and going through surgeries and doing what I need to do to become more comfortable with who I am as a person. The other thing that's been really bothering me is, as you can see, I don't have teeth, don't have dentures. People are asking me, you know, you should get dentures instead of paying for the babies and blah, blah, blah. Well, here's the story behind that. And I will definitely go into more detail, possibly into the later date, not really sure. But on, in regards to that, we did spend a lot of money, thousands upon thousands of dollars for like 18 months. I mean, it was really crazy to get a product that just really wasn't, it didn't fit well. Um, I feel like I was forced into you know, getting something right away, which might have not have been in my best bet. Maybe I, I really wanted to wait like six months to a year, really research and figure out what it was um, before we made any decisions. And I can tell you that if I didn't spend that money um, getting dentures that don't fit so I can't use them at all, I would have um, done more research. And when I did the research, I found they have these implant dentures, and I probably would have went with that. So it's a little bit more money than probably the other one, but I could have gone and just done an upper and then maybe later on I would have done a, you know, the bottoms or maybe I would have been happy with just one versus the other. So what an implant denture is, is they implant just a few screws in your mouth and then they um, screw the denture on. So you never have to worry about anything food getting stuck it feeling weird whatever but again I'm sure there's ups and downs about that so the up and down or the downside about the dentures they didn't fit right they were hurting um, it felt weird it felt like I got like a bunch of junk in my mouth so um, that's the topic with that so I had no I've been asked those kinds of questions before and it's not that I'm buying babies versus getting dentures I had a really bad experience with dentures and yes um, not having teeth in your mouth definitely make me feel um, angry I don't know upset um, pissed off jealous um, whatever really like I feel like okay if I'm going to um, you know do the transgender part I need to figure out the, the teeth as well so that is that topic so what else about me I can talk to you a little bit about some of the medical issues that I have going on um I have like every problem that has no cure so I have um, interstitial cystitis, which is a, bl a bladder disorder. I have um, restless leg syndrome. There's nothing to do for that. I do have a couple of bulge discs in my back, which makes it hard to lift things and do things I need to do. Um, it even makes it hard to get a job and work because I can't um, stand for long periods of time anymore. Um, and this has happened for, like, I've been having back problems since I was about 24, 25. So it's been going on for quite some time. And it took me 10 years before I found out what exactly was going on. Um, I've had, like, headaches and heartburn and, um, you know, stomach issues, digestive issues. Come to find out, guys, it's food that is causing these problems. So if you always have migraines or always get heartburn, you gotta go on a real strict diet. I mean, even like from ketchup will do it to uh, anything processed, anything with sugar. Um, you might even have like a sensitivity to like glucose. I mean, not glucose, um, um, anything sugar-based. So the man-made sugar, which is high to something syrup. Uh, Foucault syrup and some other stuff. So anyways, I know that when I eat bad now That's what's causing my headaches my you know, I mean even, even soda does it. So I mean it's a real strict I'm usually I'm You know when not to get these symptoms. I have to eat like um, 
fruit, vegetables, um, you only eat like fresh meat, you don't eat processed meat, and um, basically a high protein, low carb, low sugar diet. So that's basically what that is. And I think for the for the medical end of it, I think that's just about it. So now you ask, okay, medical, but what about mental? Well, doesn't everybody have a problem with mental health? I have bipolar disorder, but I've actually been off all my meds for a year. Because in order to have a kid, you have to be off these meds to um, not cause birth defects. Come to find out, not everybody that is bipolar I mean, you have to work really hard, and I mean, I can't say I, I wouldn't need medication in the future, but right now, where my life is, I didn't take myself off my meds. I did it with a doctor, and we did it correctly, and believe it or not, that's actually how I found out that food was what was causing my heartburn, because I was taking medicine for heartburn, I was taking medicine for my headaches and everything like that, and come to find out. It was food all along that was causing it, so I was the one that, that figured this out, not the doctors. So, um, what other mental things do I have? Well, I'm definitely OCD, whether a doctor says I am or not. I know I am. Um, but you can use your OCD to your advantage if you... I guess it depends on what kind of OCD you have, but you can use it to your advantage. So, I get overwhelmed when my house looks like this, but um, it focuses you to um, do better, like to get things done and do what you got to do and organize. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why I really like organizing is because I don't like messes and stuff like that. So, um, I, do, I am ADHD, so that makes certain things difficult. And then I have some learning disabilities. I am dyslexic. I have what's called receptive and expressive language disorder, and I don't really have very good social skills. I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to sit when you talk to people. I don't know the facial expressions you're supposed to have or not supposed to have when you're talking to somebody. And um, I've been recently confronted about this, and I got really angry with the person because who are you to judge, you know? So... Um, and I think uh, my husband got upset too about it. So Dennis got mad about that too. But anyways, uh, who else? Who am I? So I'm a person that likes to have friends, but um, I'm a good friend, I guess I could say. I like to be able to have friends, but I don't need people that want to either take advantage of me. I don't really have anything. So, um, like as simple as a swap box or something like that, or just a gift, um, takes me a lot harder to do. So I have been taken advantage in the past and these people I keep aside. Now it does make it harder for me to become friends with people, but, um, I have to say I, I wouldn't mind just having like five really good friends in a lifetime I would be happy with. Um, so you ask me, uh, am I a good friend? Well, I try to be. I like to be honest, open. I would basically do anything for anybody. But my one big thing is I don't like being taken advantage of. That's my big thing. And I've had to learn that the hard way in my lifetime. But I am a really good friend, a really good listener. There are certain parts about me I think that some people don't like. Um, but I like to be able to have different kinds of friends. I'm, I noticed that like in my lifetime, um, my friends could never really get along with each other because they're all so different. But that's because I like different types of people. I like to embrace myself with just all different um, kinds of, you know, I like, like, for example, in just the Reborn community alone, I would like to have a relationship with just an artist. 
or a sculptor or just a uh, collector. You know, these are three different types of people. One, I like to learn from others. Um, mistakes or just learning from them, um, stuff like that. Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, so stay tuned for part three.